Hello everybody, welcome. Uh, I'd like to say uh, welcome to all of my new subscribers and a hello again to all of you who have been with me through the years. I appreciate each and every one of you so much and I'm grateful that you chose to spend some of your time today with me. Today I am going to show you a Your Creative Studio unboxing and a project afterwards using some of the supplies. But before I jump into that, <clears throat> I'm just going to have a little quick catch up um, for some of you who like to know what's going on. So I will include in the description box some timestamps so that you can just jump to the unboxing. So yeah, today I have been, um, well I've been putting off uh, doing a video for a, a couple of weeks um, in case you don't realize some of my latest content has been from going back a couple years back and um, it was mostly for my Patreon so I've just uploaded that recently to YouTube because I no longer have a Patreon channel. Um, so yeah, I've just can, been busy with life in general. Um, Paul is back in the UK visiting family and my nails were just looking so fabulous that I thought, oh, today's the day to do the video. <laughs> yeah, I just got this new nail polish and uh, it's called Luna and I just think it's so pretty and my nails are just looking good right now. So yeah. <laughs> um, so, so as I said, I've just been putting off um, videoing. To be honest, I'm spending a lot of time I'm dieting and I'm trying to get exercise so I just thought you know it's time to just take a step back and and use these few weeks um, to get kind of um, into a groove and so you you understand I, I, I know all of you have been through it and you understand completely what I'm talking about so um, that, so that's where I've been um, I am going to get back to doing videos um, every week. I'm going to try to put out a video of uh, some kind of tutorial or something. And I just have not been working on journals, guys. That's just the honest truth. Uh, I don't know why. I guess I, I'm not... I wouldn't say I'm in a funk. Um, I just am focusing my, my efforts on other things right now. Um, so so anyways, that's, that's what's been going on. Um, not even getting time to do any content on our travel channel because, you know, we're just both so busy visiting with family at the moment. But we hope to get back to that. So apologies for the noise in the background. I am in an RV park right now because Paul's gone and I don't tow. So I am stationary in a park. So you are probably going to hear quite a bit of noise. And I do apologize for that. Okay. Let's jump into the unboxing of, this is July, this is your creative studio, and this is Capture. I had a little peek, guys, I'll be honest with you. I had a, a little peek the other day, but I didn't uh, go through it. I just opened it up just to kind of get an idea, because I like to try to think in terms of, oh, how can I use that? Um, so, yeah. Okay. Going in, I first of all see a beautiful charm, which is, this is the first charm I believe I've ever received in a subscription box from from uh, Your Creative Studios. So that's nice. It's a little camera, vintage camera. That's really pretty. Lovely um, little thank you. And then this is some 30 pieces of, it looks like some ephemera. Go inside here and see what we got. Oh yeah, you got some nice little stickers. Got some little die cuts. Oh, aren't those pretty? And more. Some uh, uh, garden twine. Beautiful little labels and a couple of tags. So that's really nice. Let's sit that over. That's that's one of the things in here. Hmm. Looks like a little paper pack, maybe. 
It is. Oh, aren't those precious? I think I've already figured out what I'm going to do with this. I <clears throat> I didn't have any idea when I come on. I thought, well, as I'm going through it, something will come to mind. But I think now I know what I'm going to do with, with uh, the project on this one. So that's cool. <laughs> so that's a little paper pack there. Some little paper ephemera. I mean these kits really do lend themselves for uh, collaging because it's all so beautifully coordinated um, which is what I did <clears throat> with the last month's uh, subscription box. I did a uh, page layout in my journal and um, they really do collage beautifully. So lots. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's cute. It's a little camera keychain. How sweet is that to carry your coins in? Oh, that's really, really sweet. I might turn that into my, um, I have to keep a lot of change for the laundromat, <laughs> so I might actually, um, I might put some change into that and just keep it hanging up in the truck. That way I've always got some coins. That's really cute. <clears throat> it's, it's nice because each month you just get completely different things. So here we've got a cling stamp, plural. Uh, there's two in there. Oh, it's like a film. Uh, you know, the old negatives. And then you've got the old camera. That's beautiful. Really, really pretty. Yeah, I really love that they include some um, some stamps. What do we got here? Oh, look at that. It's the old... Um, camera. That's a beautiful stamp as well. Very vintage this this one is. And this one, I'm not too sure what this stamp's going to look like. Oh, look at that. It's a rooster with a little camera. He's got his glasses on. How sweet! <laughs> love it. That's so quirky. Okay, and so here, um, see if I can get into it. I didn't bring my knife this time. I should have been prepared. I knew last month I needed a knife and I totally forgot about it. So here, what do we got? Are these little art clippings? Oh yeah, these are like, because remember last month was like a floral theme, so aren't these sweet? Just like old ads and images. Oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Oh yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun to play around with. And so here we've got... I don't know, it looks like more paper ephemera, maybe. <clears throat> it is. Like the old uh, newsprint. Hmm. Beautiful. Oh, I really like these. Yeah, it'll be fun to play around and see what we can come up with this. And then again, some of these little stickers. Tissue paper. That's really pretty. And then the large paper ephemera. Yeah, these are really nice. That's beautiful. I love that shade of green. And that's a nice one as well. 
Okay, guys, we've got a lot to play with in this kit. Uh, I will put the link below if you're interested in um, signing up for these subscription boxes to come to your house. I'll put the link below to the Your Created Studio website, and you can have a look yourself. So now that I've got it all out here, we are going to take some of these supplies and we're going to make something fun. So I will be back. Okay guys, um, yeah, unfortunately now my battery went dead, so that's the way the day is going to be, I think. <laughs> but that's okay. Luckily I have a couple spares. I just wasn't sure if even they would hold out because I haven't done anything in so long. Everything's dead. <laughs> Um, so this is just a little sticker, and it says write a, la a letter. And I just think this will look nice just if I can get this squared up. And I'm, I'm not great with stickers, I'll, I'll admit. I'm terrible about getting creases in them. I mean, you can't see it that much, to be honest, because of the background, but it's there and it's it's given a little bit of texture but I think that's kind of cute I'm happy with that and somehow I'm going to use some of that twine in this but I may do it on this part so I want a tag to go in here so let me see what we've got here I think it should have some of this background paper To coordinate with that um, pocket. So I'm just going to tear some of this and I'll save all this to use in other projects. Okie dokie. Let's see what else to put on here. This is one of the labels that you get. I just think it may be something like that. Um, and then we've got these little post it type. Just trying to find something that's going to coordinate, but add a little bit of color as well. These are really nice images. Kind of like that one. But I need a focal point, and I don't. Mm. some of these as well. Gosh, there's just so much to choose from. I think that's part of my problem 
is there is a lot in this kit. And these have really nice texture as well. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to worry about adding these. Um, to be honest, I'm liking that. And I'm actually going to get those put over there. I might just put this one. I'm just thinking about putting that kind of behind, maybe. Mm, I don't know. Actually, I'm not going to. I don't think it needs it. I thought I would put some color in there, but I don't. I think it would just take away from it. Actually, oh, I like that with the big number. That's kind of cool. Okay, and then maybe one of these little cameras. I kind of like this as well, though. Mm, what am I going to do? <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to go with this, actually. But i got to tone that white down for sure. And it's good because it'll cover up that bit there. I tried to distress that, and for some reason it didn't want to take the ink, so... This will cover that up, which will be good. And then I think I'll add one of the little cameras. Oh, these aren't uh, stickers. I thought that was a sticker backing. Okay, that's fine. Just going to get a bit of this on here. That's pretty cute. Okay, let's just take a look at this now. So I've got the twine from the kit, and I'm just trying to decide if I want to put it around here or on the um, tag itself. And actually, it might be nice to have it on both, thinking about it. I'll come back to that. I think I'll get a bulb pin to put that one on.
Okay, guys, just one All right, guys, I have grabbed a little uh, bulb pin, and we've got our little charm here. I have grabbed a bit of um, muslin, a little bit of lace, and I'm just going to um, add this to the tag. So there's our little tag. And then I think on the front it would be nice to just add something down here. And so I've got a little bit of um, cheesecloth. And then this is an uh, image that I've stamped on some muslin. I think he looks like he's an agent. Um, so I just kind of like that. That's a very masculine uh, pocket and um, tag. But I think in a vintage themed journal this would be quite pretty. And I wanted a little bit more of that string um, on the pocket. So now all I have to do is just um, glue two sides of this or three sides and then you could have another pocket or you could have like a, a tuck spot within a journal so so there you go guys that was um, a lot of fun to play around with that um, I appreciate it so much the opportunity to be able to work with um, your creative studio on these um, subscription box so I hope you've enjoyed that I hope it's um, given you some ideas maybe on um, something that you can use and like I said I'll put in the description box below how you can get a hold of um, your creative studio if you're interested in this I hope you guys are all well and I'm looking forward to getting back here as soon as I possibly can just right now I think my focus needs to be kinda elsewhere um, and, um, yeah, I won't lie, I'm enjoying a bit of a break with Paul being gone. So I'm just, time, you know, just really taking advantage of having time to just, you know, focus on trying to get healthy again. And um, so, but I will be back. I, I'm missing creating um, and I'm missing visiting with you guys. I'm still watching everybody. It's just, um, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to restrict how much time I'm on social media. So, so that's what's been going on. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining today. I hope you're all well. And I'll see you soon.